This is Joe Delio from the Palo Alto Network's live community team, bringing you a video about importing and removing existing configurations into Panorama, presented by Nick Travis. Hey, my name is Nick Travis. I'm a SLED SE based in Georgia, and I want to do a quick demo today of taking a firewall with an existing config and importing that into Panorama so it can be managed from Panorama moving forward. So first thing I want to do, I want to confirm the versions of my software. So looking at my firewall here, it is on 817 and then Panorama is on 905. What we're looking for is Panorama has to be uh, either the same version or a newer version of the firewall that we're doing this on. First thing I want to do once I confirm my versions are good is just make sure I get a uh, configuration snapshot of each of these. Uh, so I'm going to save that uh, and in a real environment I would export it as well. Uh, same thing on the firewall which I already actually have uh, a saved one here. So once I have my saved config uh, I'm going to from the firewall I'm going to grab the serial number and I'm going to go to Panorama summary under manage devices and click add. I'm going to drop this serial number here and I need to uncheck this associate device. Say OK. And then I'm going to commit that to Panorama. When I go back to my firewall now, I'm going to go to device under setup management. I'm going to click the gear here for Panorama servers and put in the IP address of Panorama. And down here, these buttons will say enable or disable depending on what's been done with the firewall before, but I want to make sure that these are both enabled so the buttons will say disable. And that's going to allow Panorama to push policy and objects as well as the device and network templates. So I'll say OK um, and go ahead and commit. Real quick before I commit, just show, see we do have some policies here. We do have objects. These are all locally created. So I'm going to commit this and then go back to Panorama. We can see this is finished and this should show connected as soon as the commit finishes on the firewall. Here we go. We see that it's connected. So now I have this, but I don't have the config. I don't have the templates for it. I don't have a device group for it. Uh, so I'm going to import that. So to do that, I go under Panorama, Setup, Import Device Configuration to Panorama. And I hit this drop down, and I should be able to choose my VM. If you don't have your firewall, firewall listed here, then more than likely you did not uncheck that associate device. And then I'm just going to rename. Uh, the template name and device group name here. Um, and I do want to import all of the shared objects into Panorama and do these as pre rolls. So I'll say OK. This only takes a second. That's been successful, so I can close that. If I go to my policies and look at my VM test, we can see here are those policies that were imported. If I go to my objects, here are the objects that were imported. So I can now commit this to Panorama. But what this has done is it has not changed anything on the device itself, right? We've just pulled that config in. So once I commit this to Panorama, I can then take this and push it back to the firewall. Um, in a production setting, you would go through and verify the objects are the same, the policy is the same, make sure this commit runs successfully and then you could push it back. All right, so that's done. So now if I go again to my operations under setup here, I can export or push a device config bundle. I'm going to choose my VM and say OK. And I get two options here. I can push and commit, or I can just export. Push and commit is going to take this, push it to the firewall, and actually go ahead and commit that change. Export's just going to push the change, but not actually do the commit for us. So I'm going to go ahead and push and commit. And what we'll see afterwards is the policy and the objects, here we go, are now yellow, indicating that they've been pushed by Panorama. 
Uh, and if I go to the objects, we can see that you know they all came from Panorama. So what that's done is, um, along with pushing those, it created the template, the template stack, it created the device group, uh, and added the that system into that device group for us. So now if I wanted to create a new object, um, I could go ahead and just uh, create it here and then automatically have it pushed to that firewall. And this allows me to, to take that existing config and bring everything in. So now that we have our policy pushed from Panorama, we have our objects pushed, um, at some point you're likely gonna wanna be testing this, so you're gonna need to undo these changes so they can be done again. Um, a couple options, you can use those configs that we had from before um, and just roll both of those back. Or if you want to manually undo it, um, we can go into Panorama and Panorama tab, our templates. Let's go ahead and remove the stack. Then we're gonna remove the template. All right, now let's remove the device group. And let's go to manage devices and remove the VM. And I can commit that to Panorama. Now my lab VM side, I need to go remove the Panorama IP address here. Now I'm going to disable the Panorama policy and objects, but I do not want to import that policy back. And then I'm going to disable the device and network, but I am going to import it back. And this is going to bring our management interface back in, but not um, all of the other config. I'll say OK here. And again, just to show I still, I, I removed that, but did not um, import it back, but my management interface is still up. So I'm going to commit this. And just once that commit is done, I will, if I want my original policy back, then I can just load that initial config. Device operations load my configuration snapshot that was before my panorama push and do that commit and everything will be back exactly how it was before we started. Thanks Nick for that. It's greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching and as always don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this if you like the video and check out all of our other great videos that we have. Have a great day.